Greetings everybody. So today I want to talk about how you want to choose your HDMI cable if you're going to wall mount your TV. It is very important that you don't get the straight kind because I've seen somebody that's got the straight kind of cable, mount the TV on the wall, and that HDMI cable is all bent out of shape and it will seriously damage. So the way to solve that is to get an angle HDMI cable. Now there's two different kinds and I'm going to explain which kind you want to look for when you're shopping for those angle HDMI cable. Okay, so you're gonna have two different kind of angle cable. And the only reason you wanna need an angle cable is the fact that you have your HDMI cable on the back of the TV. There are some TV that has their HDMI cable on the side, just like mine. And even if they're on the side and you still wanna angle mount it to where the cables are going straight instead of coming out and then curve, there's also an angle cable for those kind of connections also. So I'll feature those towards the end of the video. This video is mainly for the people who has the HDMI cable directly on the back of the TV. So please don't mount your TV with the cable looking just like this. Because eventually over time, because that cable is under stress, it's going to start bending and damage. And next thing you know, you have issue seeing stuff that's going on on your TV, especially from your game system or any other box that you have connected to that HDMI cable. So there's two kinds of HDMI angle cable. There's one that's at a 90 degree angle and there's one at a 270 degree angle. And the easy way to choose between the 90 degree angle on the 270 degree angle is all depend on how the HDMI port is designed on your back of your TV. So if you look at how the shape of the HDMI cable is designed compared to the ones on your TV, that's gonna tell you which kind of cable do you need. So take a good look at the angle of the port on the back of your TV so you can get the right cable when you decide to wall mount your TV. Okay, so if you're wall mounting your TV and your HDMI port is on the side of the TV, whether the left side or the right side, you can get an angle cable for those ports also to make it come straight down from the back of the TV because depending on the kind of cable you get, it might end up sticking out on the side of the TV instead of coming straight down and that might not give you that clean look that you're looking for when you wall mount your TV. So a side mounted angle cable that comes straight down is gonna solve that issue. Okay, so after you mount your TV on the wall and you got your cables running down the side of the wall, you don't wanna have that look. So make sure you get some wire hide covers. And if you get the white kind, your wall is not white, you can always paint them to match the wall so that they kind of blend in with the wall a little bit so they don't stand out and be so obvious. In an upcoming video, I'll be covering the maximum length you want to get for an HDMI cable and how you can overcome the issue if you need to run the cable even longer than the maximum length. So stay tuned for that one, all right? Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.